What's going on, you guys? We have an awesome carnivore for y'all today. Teratophonius curry. Hold on one sec. Chris, let me in. What's going on, creative boost enthusiasts? That's right, you heard it. Today, we're taking a look at the Teratophonius curry. -ay. And here we have our Teratophonius Courier. This is one of my favorite figures of the line in the Tyrannosaur series. And inside the box here, you can see all of our differently posed foot accessories, the different stand pieces and the base, and of course, the beautiful figure inside the window there. And I can't help but not mention this amazing artwork by Raul Ramos. And if we flip around to the bottom here, we can see the credits to all the people who helped make this figure possible. And we can swing it around in the back and see all the other one Tyrannosaur series from this wave with some cool information. The name, of course, Teratophonius Curier. Obviously, it's 1 18th scale like most of our other figures, and as always, a collectible card inside. And we're gonna get this guy cut open with my handy Denny knife here, Knife Heads. And this is really cool. We got our backdrop here, uh, which is the background of that packaging illustration and uh, use this to display your figure. And we can separate the two halves here. We got our foot accessories in the base here, and we'll get to that later, and our awesome dinosaur, some assembly required. We're gonna get this dinosaur free, but we're gonna flip it around to the back side so we don't scrape any paint. Never mind, this is too difficult. Back to the front. Almost free. Woohoo! Oh, check that out. All right, we're gonna get the blow dryer, but let's get these other parts out first too. Got our awesome base. All the rock, rock and grass detail. Look at that. Got our different feet. We got the heel up and then the flex toe. We got our different stand accessories. We'll take a look at this later in the posing section. All right, now that this guy's out of the box and put together, man, is it cool. This one's definitely one of my favorites from wave two of the Tyrannosaur series. He's a nice compact size, plenty fun to pose. He's got a really cool color scheme. Awesome, awesome sculpt and detail. The colors all flow really well from top to bottom. Got these really, really cool high contrast color tones with the black, the white, the cream and pinks. It's a really, really striking dinosaur. Overall, this is definitely one of the best figures of the line. And so with that said, why don't we dive right in and take a look at all of the awesome articulation. Starting at the head, he's got a barbell joint there, so lots of great motion. Jaw opens and closes, and like most of our figures, articulated tongue. And continuing down the neck, we got a barbell joint here, so you get all that nice movement up, down, side to side. Ball joints the shoulders here at the elbows, so you get nice swivel and hinge. But even these tiny little hands are on a disc. They swivel. Continuing along, we have barbell joint here at the torso, ball joints at the hips, and continuing the trend, we have a disc pin here for swivel and hinge. As Chris likes to say, we have good rotation and articulation. Continue down to the metal tarsals. We have another set of disc hinge, so we can swivel and hinge, and the feet are ball jointed, so they can swivel and move all the way around, pivot to any which way you like, and since they're ball jointed, we can swap it out with some of our other feet really easily. And on the bottom, we have our peg holes to utilize on our base. Our tail here is on a barbell joint, and the whole tail this time is all bendy wire. So we get this thing rotated all around in crazy different poses. This guy is awesome. So why don't we get these peat popped off and get him in some cool poses. All right, what do we say we make this a buffet? Babies! We're just gonna boop, rip that leg off. He's already got one and he's sad, he's screaming, and the only smart one here, he's running away. Got a good old Moros Intrepidus. I think that's how you say it. Help me out, Spino dude. Why don't we change the story here a little bit? Mama's come to town. All right, and magically, the leg's back on, and he's back in good health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And now we're gonna recreate this card pose. Like I said before, this one's one of, definitely one of my favorites of the line. And I have a nickname for him because of his coloration. I call him the Bloody Oreo. There we go. And from everyone here at Creative Bee Studio, thank you so much for watching. From the prehistoric to the fantastic Creative Bee Studio! Studio!